Today, let's talk about mucus. First, what is it? So mucus is your body's natural lubricant. It's produced by something in your body called mucus membranes. This is basically the skin or the lining of some parts of your body. But unlike the skin on the outside of your body though, which is dry, mucus membranes need to be kept wet. So they produce mucus to keep them wet. These mucus membranes line your whole respiratory and your digestive tract. So that means from your mouth, your nose, your throat, your lungs, and your entire gastrointestinal tract as well. Its main purpose is to stop this part of your body from drying out. And it also moves things both in and out of the body. It's mainly made of water with some other ingredients as well. It has antibodies, enzymes, lipids, proteins, and even some DNA mixed in there as well. Our bodies actually produce about 38 ounces of mucus every day. That's like four cups of mucus, but we don't even notice it. We just swallow it without giving it any thought until we get sick. Then we tend to notice it. And when it comes a runny nose, a congested chest, or a wet cough, that's when it becomes irritating. Um, when we get sick, our bodies produce way more mucus. It's like your body is putting up a shield to protect itself from the invaders that have made you sick in the first place. Some invaders, the, the things that could cause overproduction of mucus, are things like viral infections or allergens, um, like dust or pollen. It's also possible that sometimes your body isn't actually making more mucus. It's just that your mucus has changed consistency. It often can get much thicker when you're sick and thicker mucus can be from dehydration or smoking, um, certain medications, and even dry air from a, um, like a heating or an air conditioning system. Some of the more severe causes of excessive mucus include COPD, bronchitis, and cystic fibrosis. So if you struggle with excessive mucus for more than a week or two, you should definitely consult with your doctor to rule out any more serious illnesses first. To treat the mild symptoms of excessive mucus, there are various treatments. There are many medications out there, things like decongestants, antihistamines, and expectorants. These are available at your local pharmacy, but if you're like me, you don't always like using medication if you don't have to, you can try something a little more natural. Another option is to use salt. Salt works by bringing more water to the surface of those mucous membranes, which makes your mucus thinner and then it makes it easier to move out. You can also use salt in water to make salt water in various ways. If you've heard of a neti pot, that's a good option. These are where you actually dissolve salt into distilled water and then you pour it into your nostrils. You can get neti pots at local pharmacies as well. Um, you could also use a bulb syringe, you know, like the ones that parents use for babies. It looks like a little turkey baster. Again, you would just dissolve pure salt into distilled water and use that bulb syringe to squirt it up into your nostrils. And there are also other ways, um, like a halogenerator or an Epsom salt bath, where you can breathe in the salty air to break up the mucus in your respiratory system. Now you have to be careful. I don't advise doing this a lot because it can dry it out too much and then you're going to damage your mucus membranes. So as always, it's best to consult with your doctor to determine what is the best option for you. Um, one other option for mild mucus symptoms could be to just go to the beach. That salty air at the beach can have a similar effect as the halogenerator, and of course it's totally free to go to the beach as long as you don't live too far away. But these salt protocols are a great alternative to medications for mild mucus issues. Just make sure to use pure sodium chloride because Sea salt can have some impurities that our mucous membranes can't filter out. It can't filter out the impurities like our digestive system can. And the same goes for distilled water as well. Use distilled water, don't use spring water, don't use tap water, just in case it has some um, impurities in there. 
So I hope you found all of that helpful. And if you are struggling with a sickness or mucus at the moment, I hope these strategies help you to feel better. Until next time, be well, everybody, and I'll see you soon.